Thank you, Riv. And kind of the big story for that game has to be looking at the early game for Team 8 because so often we criticize them for their weak early game mm -hmm. and, we, and we say, if only they could, right? If only they could get their lane phase Everyone's down, get that early play. league. Right, yeah, we're looking <laughs> at their team play, but there's something that comes before that, right? Which uh -huh. is the lane phase, and they did it this game. And a lot of that was on the back of Slushy, the man that Riv just interviewed. Yeah, I mean, everyone talks about Cali Trolls when they're talking about Team 8. But this game was all slushy. This was textbook how you take over a game as a mid laner. Solo kills mid lane, takes the turret, starts roaming, and affects the entire map. So let's right. bring up. Yeah, let's bring it up. We've got a nice little montage here <laughs> to celebrate the, the man, the myth, the legend in the, in, the, in, in the mid lane after one game. Slushy. So uh, we're going to go ahead and roll right through this. First, you got the solo kill mid lane. And this is, I mean, this is big, a big boon to confidence in it. For one. And this was a long time in the makings. He was winning this lane for the entire early game. He came back with that needlessly large rod, so he had the huge burst. And then, after you win your lane and you take that turret, start roaming across the map, take your advantage elsewhere. He gets the other side lane's control. All right, there's always... Oh, this is uh, pretty fantastic here. The I love that play. Prediction of the flash. Even though he doesn't get a kill, yep. just a beautiful chain right yep, there. Yep, yep, yep. Definitely shows that his head was in the right place for this game, in the position to make plays. And then, of course... <laughs> Yes, the, the infamous the, Krug's the play. Swag the Krug kill. The true sign of a great assassin is being able to use your surroundings to your advantage. And Slushy's <laughs> Krug training does pay off here. He goes for that James Bond villain type kill where he just feeds the enemy to his pets right. and lets them finish the dirty work. He's all about that Krug life, for sure. <laughs> uh, but, you know, we, we also do a lot when we talk about teammate. We focus on, on Cali Trolls in the top lane being mm -hmm. the one and only carry. And I think what this game did was illustrate the fact that there is more than, you know, a singular entity on teammate that can propel the team to victory. Definitely. He, he showed up and he continued the good play for the whole game. It wasn't like he got ahead early and then he started overextending. He got himself into bad positions. He didn't die. He just kept he kept on scoring kills through the entire game. And it was solo play, which usually we're looking for that team play from teammate. But Slushy really stepped up. All right, yeah, that's about all there is with that game. Solid play by them individually in the early game, using that to their advantage going into the late. We're going to take one final break, but when we come back, Team Impulse will square off against Gravity. So stay tuned. Swag. Gonna keep rolling though for our next game. It is Team 8 versus Team Coast. In comes Lushi. They trade one for one. Impaler will get rooted as well, which should make this a oh. two for one. Good, we got the Janet. Uh, looks like Rexai, Rexai. Rexai, back up. Get the Rexai, get the Rexai. Get Rexai. Ari, 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 but they still kill the Rek'Sai, but now Kali Troll's in a bad spot. They take down the inhibitor turret, but Kali Troll's forced to run away right off the bat, but they've already killed Jan, and now Chris stuck in a counter with Chronic run away. Nope, he's gonna die as well. Double kill for Slushy. Team 8 pick up their fourth win of the split.